video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get 50, 75, $100,000 in business credit, even if you have bad credit. This is Drop Gem uh, Mondays. Shout out to my subscriber for giving me that nickname, for giving this segment, segment a nickname. All right, so we're going to get straight into it. So let me dip, demystify a couple myths real quick, right? So, we, we're, so we're all clear and understand the reality of the situation. I don't care what you hear on the internet and on YouTube and on Instagram. This no PG stuff has got to stop. No PG. PG means personally guarantee. All right. Now, for the record, there are a couple institutions, fintech companies or situations where you can no PG, no personally guarantee where you can do EIN only. Sam's Club is one of them. Capital Tap is one of them. However, 99% of the time, you're going to have to PG uh, to get, you're going to have to personally guarantee to get business credit or business funding. All right. And now you're going to hear a lot of people say this, and I've been saying this for three years. I got receipts to prove it. In order to get business funding, you need the three C's. You need to bring one of these to the table, cash flow, collateral, or credit, cash flow, collateral, or credit. If you have bad credit, you can get funding because you have cash flow. Um, it might be a little bit higher interest rate, but you will get you will get funding if you have cash flow. If you have some collateral, you can provide that as well if you have bad credit. So that can work as well. So you can bring uh, one or more things to the table, but you need to be you need to bring one of those things to the table: cash flow, collateral, or credit. All right. Most of the time, you're gonna have to have good credit because if you're a startup business, you don't have any cash flow. You don't want to put a collateral you because this is brand new business. So you need to have credit. A lot of people don't have good credit, right? So first things first, you do need to get your credit in, in order, uh, short term and long term, right? Short term, you need to start putting yourself in position. Long term, you need to start building it out. So long, you could start thinking long term. <clears throat> um, so if you don't have the credit, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you one way around that. But regardless of that, you still need to start fixing your credit, building your credit, fixing your personal credit so you can get business credit. And business credit simply means business credit cards or business lines of credit or business funding. All right. So just, just so we're clear on that. So one way around that, if you have bad credit, is to use a credit partner, right? I actually taught this in my course that I created almost two, almost three years ago. Uh, you can use a credit partner. Now you have to be very careful with this um, because this is a business transaction. So you can what you can do is, uh, guys, let me know in the comments if this is your first time here. Welcome to my channel where we talk about leveraging your credit to create cash flow. We talk about business and we talk about finance. So um, and let me know if this is your first time. So I'll welcome you to the family. So. Um, one thing you need to keep in mind when you're doing this, you have to present it to, it's like you're pitching a business plan. You want to make sure you trust them. You want to make sure that you have very specific um, requirements and very specific instructions on how to, how this is going to work. So basically you guys create an LLC, you and another partner, they will be the majority owner of the LLC of the business, the business. So you need an oper operating agreement that says, uh, credit partner owns, uh, John Smith owns 90% of the company. You own 10%. And the reason you want to do that is because they're going to pull his credit. So this person obviously needs to have great credit. He needs to be minimum 680, preferably a 720 and above to maximize the funding. No derogatories, no charge offs, no late payments, none of that. Limited inquiries to maximize the funding. So you have to op have an operating agreement. All the operating agreement is, is who all the details of the business, how much you own, what's what's your role, things like that. So you need an operating agreement between you and this uh, business partner or credit partner. Uh, and you would just lay out that he owns 90% because they're going to pull uh, his credit. If you ever notice, whenever you apply for a business credit card, a lot of times they'll ask, do you own 25% or more? That's why, because they want to make sure if there's multiple people on there, um, you know, they might have to pull your credit or whatever the case is. So you want to make sure they own 90%. They won't pull your credit. Now, again, they need to have great credit in order to get the funding. Um, you will be on the LLC and the operating agreement. And then what you would do is add, the, add yourself as an employee uh, on that business. Now, the problem with that, now, there's pros and cons. Pros, you get the funding, right? 
con is it has to be someone you trust and they have to they're still they're still personally liable because they're the one on the credit so you have to make sure it's someone you trust someone you you know you're going to be doing business with because if you default it will mess up their credit because they're the ones personally guaranteeing that's why it has to be 90 10 because they're going to be pulling their credit and on paper they're the majority owner of that business um, so just keep that in mind because I don't want you to get into trouble and I want to make sure you whoever you get into partnership with the rules are clear the roles are clear on what what needs to happen so you can give them like so let's say he gets funding you can give him a piece of that funding or you you guys can work out some sort of deal where he gets compensated for being a credit partner for that particular business but just make sure everything is set in stone all the roles are clear everything is detailed in the operating agreement again they have to be 90 percent you're 10 percent they'll pull their credit they go to chase they go to bank of america they're going to pull their credit you'll get an employee card from that business credit card uh, and you can swipe on that but just just keep in mind he is still held liable if you default subscribe hit that bell notification that way you're going to notify whenever i post a new video also join that free facebook group link in the description where we talk about business credit we talk about personal credit we talk about leveraging it to create cash flow we talk about business we talk about finance free face group facebook group free of spam link in the description the facebook group is growing um also if i'm dropping a gem let me know in the comments i'm drop i drop gems videos every monday don't forget to watch all my videos coming out i got some heat coming that's my time my name toby rosario guys let me know in the comments if you have any questions if you tried this if you're familiar with this uh let me know in the comments that's my time my name toby rosario peace